Cause see, everybody that know me, and from the hood I'm from, y'all already know. And boy, I don't I used to get my ass toked up. Y'all know my people ain't gonna play about shit. See, some of my people raise some of y'all people, you know. But ass whoopings save niggas life, bro. Like my mama used to say, I I I rather beat their ass than the white man beat your ass. <laughs> See this that's how parents have to think nowadays. I rather beat that ass than let the white man beat that ass for 30 years. I just seen someone taking a picture, right? And I seen about two or three kids. Like they had an ambulance, about two or three police is parked right there. And then you had two children. Both of them didn't have a shirt on. One didn't have shoes on. Both of them looked like that. They, they haven't had a haircut, right? Now I remember growing up, if police was doing something or grown people were doing something, you got the fuck out the goddamn way like they were shooting a goddamn gun. Mama would have came up there and said, hey, if y'all don't get y'all ass home, oh no, man, they did. Get y'all and nah, this my children. I tell them what the fuck to do. You motherfuckers get the fuck out. Why would she do it? Because she corrected me. She telling me to stay out of motherfuckers' business. Stay in your goddamn place as a child. See, when I was coming up, Brown folk were talking. You took your little happy ass over there and interjected some of your conversation into theirs. You might end up missing a couple of goddamn teeth. And they weren't wrong. Them old folk weren't wrong. They get your ass in line. Do what the fuck we tell you to do. You know? And that shit saved me from being a monster. It saved me from doing any and anything I want to do and this and that. So I say this to say this. You know, we all blame the government and things like that because they do play a major role in the destruction of our people. But at the end of the road and at the end of the day, our children are responsible for their actions. They're responsible for their life, their death. They're responsible for all of that shit. That's why you have to beat their ass so you can beat it in them. You have to show them who the goddamn boss. There's too many children running around in Jackson don't know who the fucking boss is. They think they bigger than the police. They think they bigger than the nigga that told them to do right. They think they bigger than, than the old lady that's telling them to stay off her grass and shit. They just think they bigger than everybody and they can do what the fuck they want to do. We didn't come up like that, baby. Mm -mm. See, our mama and them, when they went to club and stuff, they did that on the weekend. Weekdays, they worked, cooked, whoop your ass, this and that. Weekends, okay, now it's time for them to do that. But through the weekdays, no. See now, these motherfuckers, from Monday to Sunday, you don't know what the hell your mama, or what she doing, or what she putting down. You see what I'm saying? Back then, no, your mama didn't was at home, waiting on your ass to get home, you know, things like that. Uh, Lord knows you don't have no knife. Mm -hmm. You ain't no BB gun. You ain't gonna even have a replica of a gun. Of a gun around them old people. Them old people didn't play that. You didn't come walking around in their house or in their neighborhood like you John Wayne. Oh, hell no. Nah. Now, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because I'm trying to get you out. 
to keep them at your house. There is a certain way you move. There is a certain way you dis. There is a certain way you do things that will keep them out of your family and out of your house, bro. Mm -hmm. See, time's so fucked up now. You have to be hard on your children. You have to be harder on your children today than they was harder on us back in the days, bro. Because see, today you have the internet, you have more money today. Black women have to work longer hours. You know, you have a lot of things in place that can play a role in a child's death. So, how you handle that is, you know that you know what's right, you know that you know how to move, you know that you know how to live out here, right? So you beat that sometime into your children. Yeah, you beat they ass and let them know this is how this go. A, B, C, and D. They don't know Z, X, Y, and shit like that. No, they don't A, Y, and T. You don't even know where your goddamn child is, man. Mm -hmm. Let me then come home and, and I'm out somewhere bullshitting at night. Don't see my random cop pull up, and you already know what time it is. They don't say, get your ass in the start down car for I'll get out and kill you. You know, get your ass in that car, and on your way in the house, you gonna feel something come across your goddamn head and across your back to let you know, nigga, hey, I run this house. That's what's wrong with Jackson. There's no order on the children. And then niggas like me have to suffer consequences. You know what I'm saying? They go to eyeball with niggas like me and thinking that I'm one of them. No, I'm not one of them crazy motherfuckers. No, I'm far from that. No, I'm not them. I teach them how not to put themselves in that situation. I'm willing to bet you. Because see, we have to show people that there are things that's bigger than you and your damn child. And it's called the city. And moving the city forward is black people. It is bigger than your little bad ass child. Don't you have your child running around here being a terror and a threat to his own community? God ain't gonna have favor with him. Mm -mm. You might have favor with him. God ain't gonna have no mercy on him because he ain't showing no mercy to nobody else. He don't love nobody. He don't care about nobody. You have to talk him to love, cherish people, and respect and other people and things like that. You have to talk him that. So God got a swift judgment and punishment for him. That's how things go. They've been warning y'all about getting your children out these damn streets and get their ass somewhere and sit the fuck down. You niggas can't even do that. You can't even fucking do that. Fucking children shooting each other at the mud fest. Children shooting each other at the corner stuff. Children shooting each other walking down the street. Where is the damn pounds? The mother them should be able to. Whoever in their household with them should receive just as much bullshit as they receive. Cause that's crazy, bro. That's crazy. These people, these people are so fucked up.